What's up, a cinema show gun here, and there are very few things in this world. Well, maybe that's just a tad bit of an exaggeration. There are very few things within this true crime world that we're all a part of. There are very few things within this true crime world that I want more than to finally, finally hear what Chris and Roberta Laundrie have to say about the Gabby Petito case. I want to see Chris and Roberta Laundrie dragged from under the rock that they're living under so they could finally speak up about the Gabby Petito case. It has been over a year now and we have yet to hear a single word. We haven't heard a single peep come out of their mouths. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It looks like that's about to change. It looks as if Chris and Roberta Laundrie are going to have to come face to face with Gabby Petito's parents really soon. And I'll tell you when and where in just a moment. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor. Hey, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I am excited to announce that I have officially joined the Swagit app, where I will be posting some exclusive videos as well as behind the scene content that you're not going to find anywhere else and i would be honored if you all were to join me over on the swagit app today all you have to do is download the app the link will be in the description of this video or in the pinned comment it's totally free it is a totally free way for you to support me and to support the channel but not just that i'm going to be hosting some awesome giveaways over there as well in fact me and the good folks over at swagit are hosting a 100 dollars giveaway the only thing you have to do to enter this $100 giveaway is to download the Swagit app, create an account, and follow me, Cinema Shogun, and you will be automatically entered to win $100. But not just that. I'm going to be hosting some giveaways of my own. So I will be giving away some of my own money, and I may even be giving away some Christmas gifts, but only to the people who are following me over on Swagit. But I want to give you all a quick rundown of what Swagit is. Swagit is a new video app that lets you give points to your favorite creator, such as myself, and you can earn points while doing so. You exchange your points for gift cards or PayPal cash. All you have to do is download the app by clicking the link in the comments and follow me, Cinema Shogun, for exclusive content and your chance to win $100 and more. It's a fun way to be entertained. It's a totally free way to support the channel. And you can even earn some extra money while doing so just in time for the holidays. I am really excited about this. I can't wait to upload some exclusive content over on Swagit. So be sure today, if you have some time, download the app and be sure to follow me. The links will be in the description and the pinned comments of this video. Now, I gotta say, if you were to have told me a year ago that a year from now we would still be talking about the Gabby Petito case, I would not have believed you. Yet here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and throughout this entire time, Chris and Roberta Laundrie have yet to say anything. And I understand they have the right to remain silent but like I've talked about in the past, there's legal avenues, I guess. Like legally, you, you don't have to say anything. But morally, morally, if you're a good person, you would think that these people would have said something by now. But nothing. Radio silence. In fact, it's going to take the court's to force the laundries to finally speak. I mean, at this point, a year has passed. Gabby Petito is no longer with us. Brian Laundry is no longer with us. At the end of the day, when you boil it down, these are two families that lost their young kids. A phone call should have been made by now. You know, one of the laundries should have reached out to the Petitos by now. It's only the right thing to do. And even though the laundries were so dirty and disgusting throughout the whole entire case, 
when I look at the Batitos, I don't see people who are incapable of forgiving someone. Don't get me wrong. I don't think the Batitos want to go have dinner and drinks with the laundries. But I, I think in my heart that the Batitos would appreciate if the laundries at the very least acknowledged what happened and reached out to them, said something, but yet they say nothing. Now on January 24th, both of these families will be meeting face to face for the first time since the death of their kids in Venice, Florida. This can possibly be rescheduled, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Now, the last time the Laundries and the Batitos saw each other and talked to each other, their kids were engaged. Their kids were, you know, getting ready to set out on this adventure across the country. So a lot, obviously, has changed since then. The last time these two families saw each other and spoke to each other in person, they thought that they were going to become one family. The Batitos thought that their daughter was going to marry Brian and the Laundries thought that Brian was going to marry Gabby. So imagine that. Meeting with the parents of your kids, of your kids' significant other, thinking about the future of what this is going to be. Family get-togethers. Now we're going to have to have Thanksgiving over at the laundry's house. And then next thing you know, your daughter's dead. And then their son is dead. And then you don't hear from or see these people until a year later in court because you had to drag them to court to finally say something. For them to finally get a word out of y'all's mouth, y'all had to get drugged into court to finally speak up about this case. So that's the dynamic that we're dealing with. Now, of course, up until this point, the laundries have been, you know, silent. They, they don't speak. Bertolino speaks for them. I can confirm for a fact they will have to answer questions in court. They will have to talk in court. Even Stevie 2 Tex Bertolino says that Chris and Roberta will answer whatever questions they can and they will invoke all rights and privileges they are entitled to. So even their lawyer acknowledges now that, okay, we finally reached that point where they can't just remain totally silent anymore. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure some questions will be asked that they can refuse to answer, but they're not going to walk out of court saying nothing. Now, here's the bad part. I don't think that we're going to be able to see this. This is going to be happening behind closed doors, but they will be public record and we will get the transcripts of everything said between these two families after. But we won't be able to be a, a fly on the wall watching as it happens. And that doesn't surprise me. I mean, look at what happened earlier this week with the Jared Lysick Adventures with Purpose Story. You know, so more and more now we're going to start seeing that we're going to be barred from seeing certain court cases play out. We're going to be barred from having access to a lot of different information going forward because a lot of these courts and, and the legal system overall, they're adjusting and reacting to how people act on social media. But I, I would I would pay top dollar, like straight up, screw a pay per view. Like, can we can we can we turn this into a pay per view event? I think that a lot of people out there 
would pay good money to see the look on the laundry's faces and to see them finally open up their greasy, dirty mouths to speak about what happened. After all this time, after how dedicated everyone was to this case, I don't want to say it's owed to us because nothing is owed to us. It's definitely owed to Gabby Petito's family. But I'll be damned if I don't want to see this firsthand. Reading the transcripts will be cool. It'll be one thing. And we'll do that here on this channel, but I wish we could see it. I really wish we could. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Are you happy? Because I am. This is great news. Finally, the laundries forced to speak. There's no more hiding. There's no more running. The laundries must finally speak up January 24th. That's not too long away. Hopefully it isn't rescheduled or pushed back again because December 1st, was supposed to be the day that we were all covering this case. And once again, this case was pushed back. So we will figure out what happens when that does actually come to light. I mean, hopefully it's January 24th. Anything can happen between now and then. But whenever it does happen, because it's going to happen, I will cover it right here on this channel. I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And I will talk to you all in the next video.